Okay, a quick video just to demonstrate an issue that I ran across when bringing ground control into a MetaShape project for a new set of photos that we collected just a little while ago. These photos were shot with a Zenmuse X5S camera on our uh, DJI M210 drone and uh, brought them into MetaShape. They aligned just fine. Uh, everything looks really good. Uh, we're ready to bring our ground control in, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that all looks good. And we will say yes to all here to create our markers. Now normally what I would do from this point is to come over into the reference uh, panel on the left hand side for the markers and just right click on a marker and choose uh, filter photos by marker so that I can get the, the specific photos and then open them up and tag them with the ground control. But when I do that, uh, you'll notice that my photo tray is empty. Um, and it took me like a long time to figure out what was going on here. And it turns out if you grab uh, this in the model window and tilt it on its side, you'll notice that the ground control points are above the photos. Now, this actually is not that uncommon or not surprising for uh, this drone. For some reason, the, the M210 tends to record uh, altitudes that are really low compared to uh, the other GPS units that we have, uh, either uh, another camera on that drone or other drones that we're flying. Now, this is the, the first time I've ever seen it uh, where the, the photos uh, were so low that they actually show up below the level of the ground control points. And, and apparently, uh, when that happens, Metashape doesn't know how to uh, identify which photos belong to which ground control point. Um, so the quick solution to this that I found is to right click on each of the ground control points in the model window and instead of choosing filter photos by markers, we're going to filter photos by point. And uh, now we can see here's all of our photos that, that uh, associate with that ground control point. Of course, I don't have any of the icons here that show that it's recognized that there's ground control points here. So if I open a photo up uh, and tag the ground control point here, um, and if I do that on a couple of photos, then you can see it's now recognized the ground control on, on all the remaining photos. Um, so uh, uh, again, the, the procedure is to uh, right click on the ground control point, choose uh, filter photos by point. That'll give you all the photos that, uh, that correspond to that ground control point. Again, a little bit of an esoteric uh, topic, but certainly something that stumped me. Hopefully you'll find it useful. Mm -hmm.